I don't know. I just, I just don't worry about too much shit like that. And it's just a different energy that comes while I'm on stage, and I just want to touch everybody. So every show that I have, I go to the back of the motherfucker, no matter where we at. You do? Just, yeah, every show. We're going to climb, the, we're going to go all the way up, all the way to the back. You're going to make sure time. you deal with all the make people. Make sure I'm on everybody's level every time. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. So he pulled up, we shot the video. Why and, do you uh, think he picked that time to do it? Just he wanted to get something out before he went? Yeah, he was probably in L.A., and he probably just wanted Wanna to work. Out. Yeah. He wanted to just make sure that he could, you know, fulfill, you know, promises. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Because he, he was doing so many features and yeah, everything. Because yeah. he, he knew he was going to be gone for a minute, so. Yeah. He probably wanted, you know, all that shit to come out collectively. Yeah, right trying now. to figure out a way to stay relevant until he got back. Because he knew his Facts. beard wasn't that long. Facts. He didn't have a long beard. Like, some niggas go in there, nigga don't know when he's getting out. In the entertainment a year away, that's a long time. Do you think that like it's a plot against you guys? Like you see how many times people be like like the artists catch yeah. out Boosie on the side of the road hollering like nigga I'm because they me I need cuff, the they go in. They got me pulled over again. You wanna talk shit? You wanna run your mouth? You want some gangs in front your motherfucking house? We'll set this bitch off. Nigga, you know what? Do you think it's some like like a, a, a special kind, kind of way that they treat y'all in a bad way? You get a bad rap I for mean, you? From what I came across personally, like, sometimes cops do have like a bad, you know, day or something like that and probably have an attitude or something with you, but at the end of the day, you gotta know how to deal with people yourself. That's you know? real. So I feel like most people put put themselves in a position that they do, either with their ego or, you know, anything else. How do you stay so damn level-headed, man? Yeah, I don't like going to jail. I don't like going to go to jail. Nothing, yeah. You know, I'm the same way, and I had the same experience being one that been through a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times, I remember one night I got jiggy with the laws. I'm like, nigga, what you doing that to him? But my partner, yeah. that nigga told me, uh, you move before I put my foot in your chest. Yeah. And I was trying to flex, you know what I'm saying? The next thing you know, I'm in the back of the car too. Yeah. I'm being, so, <laughs> what you saying it's makes it's sense. Up. And I'm going to jail like, damn, I should have just shut up, yeah. you know? <laughs> Look, I'm in the car with my boy. Listen, he looking at the cop crazy. The <laughs> Turn around, pull us over. You feel me? Like exactly. I fucking me for exactly. You can't I'm do like, it. Like what you? I fucking me for. Like yeah, well, I'm gonna put your bitch ass in the back of the car. He said, put your daughter in the back seat with me and see what happened. Ooh. This guy put him in the back of the car and whooped his ass, bro. You know heard I me? Mean? Wow. Then, it's a black cop with me. It's a white cop with him. So the black cop right there. I'm like, man, you gonna act like you don't see that going on? He looked me dead in my eyes and said, see what? You feel me? I'm like, shit, all right. Damn. I see nothing either. Wow. The white cop opened the door and said, you, you, you got something to say? I'm like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of got the leverage on you. You yeah, know what I'm know. saying? Facts. Mm -hmm. Man, and then the reputation that they hold, you think a nigga get a clue, right? You <laughs> Man, just get this shit over with. So how how do you like like performing like in, in front of masses of people, man? You've had to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How I talked to my one of my cats, man, shout out to Hot Boy Wiz. He was like, man, these folks make me nervous. When I go, he was young, you know, he a yeah, youngster. Right. He like, when I go out there and look, man, that crowd, man, it's it's a lot of people out there. <laughs> What the? He's like Gucci there with me. There's a lot of people out there. Yeah, <laughs> facts, facts. It is. But so how do you how do you deal with that? I mean, first coming when I first came into my career, it's like kind of crazy. Been around a lot of people I didn't know. You feel me? People looking at you and shit like that. Like I used to have to call homies like, hey, man, these niggas looking at me and shit, man. And kind of find out there was fans. You feel me? But I don't know. I just I just don't worry about too much shit like that. And, it's just a different energy that comes while I'm on stage, and I just want to touch everybody. So every show that I have, I go to the back of the motherfucker, no matter where we at. You do? Yeah, every show. We're going to climb, the, we're going to go all the way up, all the way to the back. You're going to make sure time. you be, deal with all the make people? Make sure I'm on everybody's level every time. Wow, that's love, too. Yeah, do you take is. pictures with your fans and all that all, every time? The last one. If you want it, I'm here. Wow. That, who was that told us that, like, he gonna take pictures with everybody. That was Lil Kiki told me that. He was like, Power Wild gonna take pictures with everybody. I didn't used to do that. Yeah. Power Wild is on time and uh, um, he gonna kiss all the babies in the room. It's a thousand people and there's gonna be a thousand autographs. We're gonna be there extra three hours. Now it's a privilege to be in this position right here. You feel me? Yeah. So, I, like when I came up, How did you saw, learn that? Because I saw artists and found out who they really, really was or how they was really acting and it made me, 
you know, not want to fuck with like want to do something to them. You get what I'm saying? So, and, and the people that you come across, like, they deserve, like, you feel me? Like, if they see you want to take a picture, they deserve that. Because I used to always say, like, you know what comes with the business Facts. in the first place. So why go into this business if you're not ready to deal with your fans? Because some people are like, all I want to do is the music. I don't want to do nothing else. Yeah, that ain't how it works. It comes with a package. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.